All right, we're going to remove this screw here first. There's another one here. And another one at the back here. Be sure to grab the washer. It's a little slip on style washer. Going to take this tension tension nut off. It's quite small, so careful not to lose it. That's the other washer. Now this should be able to lift up. Be careful as you lift it gently. Now there's two screws. I loosened that one before. I'd loosen that one there so I can take that out now. We'll proceed to take that one off. And the back should fall come apart from the main drive and as you can see this one is missing a belt completely no belt so I just want to put, pop this out of the way so it's upright put it like that I'm just going to transfer the video to the other side right we're on the back side of it now you can see where I'm missing the belt for the tension arms I'm just going to put this bit of paper here just to I need to slip off that little washer holding the gear there. We don't want to lose it. It's very, very small, as you can see. Might need some light here. There is a split in this washer, so you can can lift it from there. Be very careful. Let's 
that's it there. Careful not to lose it. Right, now we can lift up the gears. One and two. So replacement belt. So we're going to put it around there first. Actually, we might just give this belt a bit of a clean first. Right. So I'm going to slip that on there. We might just uh, might just put a bit of lube in there. Okay, we've got the belt on now, so we'll drop the other cog on there. Give it a spin, seems alright. Drop the other one on. Okay, now we need to put back the little spring washer. Okay, spring washer's in place. Let's just give it a bill. It seems to work. Give it a bit of a wipe. And now we'll put it back together. Alright, putting the gear plate back on. Okay. 